evening. Hello. How are you today? Good evening. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi, Nuvia. Hi, teacher. Hello, Roxana. Hello, Sochi. Hello. Hi, Paola. Ella es Paola Flores. Hello, Judith Panameño. Es Pamela. Pamela, Pamela, sorry. A saber de dónde sacré Paola. Pamela, Pamela. All right. Hello, Judith. Hi, Claudia Salazar. Hi. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? I'm fine. Excellent. Hi. Uh, who can tell me what information do you remember from yesterday's class? ¿Qué información se acuerdan de la clase de ayer? The middle. <laughs> That's right. We did the midterm exam. ¿Cómo sintieron el midterm exam? Um, estaban los problemas de, de, de las respuestas. Ok. De que el que le decíamos en el, en el chat de que no agarraba ninguna de las dos opciones. Ok. ¿Y le resolvieron eso con Marvin? Mm, al menos en el chat no han resuelto nada, no han dicho nada. ¿Y le, le ha escrito directamente a Marvin? a Marvin? No, directamente sí no. Ok, los invito que si no les han respuesto al chat, eh, que le escriban directamente porque... Eh, ellos se encargan de la programación de la plataforma. Ok. All right, let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to first and foremost, we're going to be going to the first section, which is coming from section 4.0. And in this class, you will learn the clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. En esta clase aprenderán vocabulario sobre la ropa, el armario, sobre ropa que se usa particularmente para trabajar y para descansar. Listen to the video, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. As you can see on the screen, the clothes which are on the image towards the left-hand side are for work, and the ones towards the right-hand side are clothes for leisure. Let's practice by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Clothes for work. Shirt. Tie. Belt, jacket, pants, suit, coat, shoes, blouse, scarf, skirt, high heels, raincoat, dress, clothes for leisure, hat. Sweater, jeans, gloves, boots, cap, t-shirt, shorts, socks, sneakers, pajamas, swimsuits. Now is your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. I would like for you to talk about the clothes that you wear for work and the clothes that you wear for leisure. If the clothes are not mentioned here, you should add them. For example, I wear a tie for work. I wear shorts at home. 
after you do this, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right. Uh, do you have any questions referring to this vocabulary? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta o consulta sobre este vocabulario que acabamos de analizar? Ok, vamos a practicar la pronunciación. Repeat, please. Clothes for work. Clothes for work. Shirt. 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 Tie. 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 Belt. 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 I'm going to put you on silence because I hear that there's a little interference. Uh, belt. Belt. Jacket. Jacket. Pants. 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 Suit. 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 Shoes. Shoes. Coat. Coat. Okay, so eso es lo que el hombre usa para el trabajo. Así me he visto yo para el trabajo. Aquí tengo mi saco, solo que me lo quité porque tenía calor. Oh, excuse me. Bah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Repeat. Blouse. 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 Scarf. 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 Skirt. 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 High heel shoes. High heel shoes. shoes. High heels. High heels. Raincoat. Rain rain Raincoat. Raincoat. Dress. 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 All right. So this is uh, what women wear for uh, work. Now we're going to be looking at clothes for leisure. ¿Quién me puede decir qué quiere decir la palabra leisure? What is the meaning of leisure? ¿Qué quiere decir leisure? Si esta es la ropa que usas para trabajar, ¿qué piensas es tú que es esta? Para estar en casa. Oh, ding, ding, ding. That's right. That is okay. correct. No necesariamente estar en casa, pero para estar más para cómodo, descansar. para descansar, uh -huh. para relax, para go out, kick back. <coughs> All right. Repeat, please. Tie. 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 Sorry. Hat. 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 Sweater. Sweater. Quiero quiero que noten la pronunciación al final. I want you to go like this. Así como le hace la avispa. Right? Gloves. 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 Jeans. 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 Sweater. 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 Hat. Cap. Hat. Hat. Right. Eso es lo que usa ella. Ahora el hombre. Cap. 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 Quiero que noten al final es como un. Cap. 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 
ครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับ It's like a cap. 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 All right. T-shirt. 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 Short. 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 Socks. 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 Sneakers. 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 Hay personas, hay personas que le dice sneakers y hay personas que le dicen tennis shoes. Ahí tú decides. Si le quieres decir tennis shoes o si le quieres decir sneakers, básicamente sneakers. es sneakers. lo mismo. Okay. Tennis shoes. All right. Pajamas. 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 Right. Nosotros decimos pijama. It's very similar. Pajamas. Pajamas. Pajama party. Pajamas. Pajamas party. Pajama party. Pajamas. Right. La pajama party is la pijamada que le decimos nosotros. Pijama. Pajama party. Pajamas party. All right, swimsuits. 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 Right, esos son como para la playa. Este, me podría repetir cómo se pronuncia clothes for for leisure. Listen, ¿cómo es? Clothes for leisure. Leisure. Clothes for leisure. Leisure. Clothes for leisure. Clothes for leisure. 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 Otra vez, se escucha la pronunciación z. Leisure. Leisure. That's right. All right, now what I would like for you to do is we're going to practice writing the sentences. I want you to say, for example, I wear a tie for work. All right, over here, you're going to go to Añadir una publicación. You're going to write título. You're going to write your name where it says su pregunta. You're going to write, for example, I wear a tie for work. Pero quiero que me den una positiva y una negativa. I don't wear shorts for work. Number two, I wear a dress shirt for work. Quiere decir, yo visto una camisa de vestir para el trabajo. Y la otra, yo no visto swimsuit para el trabajo. I don't, I don't wear a swimsuit for work. All right, quiero que me den 10 ejemplos. Siempre okay. uno negativo y uno positivo. En la misma oración. En la misma oración. That is Serían 20 right. prácticamente, 20 positivas y 20 negativas. Oh, yes. All right. I'm going to put you guys, you have 10 minutes. We're going to have 10 minutes. I'm going to put you in pairs so that you can uh, help each other. Los voy a poner en pareja para que se ayuden. Let's go. que está a cuatro verdad sí cuatro uno 
um, como hay que escribirlas, ¿verdad? Sí. I wear jeans for work. Podría ser un for work. Perdón. Como él quiere una positiva y una negativa, entonces la uno podemos poner I, I, I wear jeans for work. Y la, y la negativa sería I, I wear not. Así, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Contra, contractada I wear sí. not for work así ¿está bien? sí ¿Me parece? for work la segunda ayer le escribí Pero algo más largo la negativa que me había dicho I wear not for work I, ah falta wear not Wear not jeans. <ríe> no había puesto sujeto. Pero ahí al la eh, dice que sí ocupa jeans. La, es que hay que hacer una positiva y una negativa de la misma. Ah, seguro. Sí, por eso estaban diciendo que iban a ser 20. Porque en la misma iba a ser una positiva y una negativa. Ah, bueno. Entonces la, la uno. Le parece, I wear jeans for work. Uh -huh. Y la negativa, I wear not jeans for work. Así, ¿verdad? No sería, I don't wear jeans for work. I don't. Ajá. Uh -huh. I... Mm. Sí. Porque wear sería... Eh... Still. Ajá. Yo no, yo no me he visto. Con jeans para. No, pero sí, verdad. Tiene que, eh, I wear, pero tenemos que agregarle el, el wear. Uh -huh. ¿Y dónde iría el? I wear not jeans for. Ya hicieron al margen oración. No, yo tengo problemas con el Zoom, no. Al final no terminé de escuchar qué es lo que pedí el teacher. Él quiere 10 eh, oraciones en las que pongamos qué es lo que utilizamos para ir al trabajo y qué es lo que no. Ah, ok. I wear, sería, ¿verdad? Sí, I wear. I wear. Jeans. A la par tiene que ponerlo eh, qué es lo que no usa. I don't wear. ¿Cómo se ponía? Falda. Skirt. Skirt. Okay. I don't wear a skirt. For work. For work. Y así sucesivamente, 10. 10, ajá. Serían 20 porque quiere 10 positivas y 10 negativas. Y 10 negativas. Ok. Usted ya las terminó también. Ahorita sí. 
La, las voy terminando. ¿Usted cómo va? Apenas la segunda. Yo utilicé casi las mismas ro, la misma ropa que salía en el video. Ok. Le puedo compartir mi pantalla si gusta. Por Le aparece. Mm, sí. Solo aquí en la segunda puse una S de más. Vale. Ahí sí. Pero. Ok. Gracias, Ay, aquí me faltó la T también. Acá. ¿En dónde? Ajá, se me. Horror de dedo. Pero si lo quiere cambiar, puede editar. Ajá. Solo se va ahí donde están los tres puntitos. Al, al lado, al ladito hay tres puntitos. A editar. A la mano derecha, no sé si aquí arribita hay una estrellita como una cruz, y abajo oh. hay tres puntitos, aquí. Ajá, no, abajo, arriba, arriba, ahí, aquí, 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 ahí, ahí está. Este, ah. editar, y ahí puedes editar. Ah, ok, gracias. You got it. Qué oso dejarlo así. <laughs> All right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Si no ha terminado, le va a quedar de tarea porque ya se nos terminaron los 10 minutos. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next section. Does anybody have any questions at this moment about this activity? Questions about this activity? Nobody? Questions? Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move forward and we're going to be looking at the next activity. Now, for the next activity, we're going to look at section 4.2. In this class, you will learn the colors and how this topic is used in a daily life. En esta clase aprenderán los colores y cómo este tema es usado en la vida diaria. Let's check it out. Repeat, please. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. All right. We're going to listen to the audio together.
Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn the colors and you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real conversation. Let's start by looking at the image on the screen and listening to the colors. You should listen and repeat. White. Light gray. Gray. Dark gray. Beige. Light brown. Brown. Dark brown. Black. Red. Pink. Orange. Yellow. Light green. Green. Dark green. Light blue. Blue. Dark blue. Purple. Now, we're going to listen and repeat to a conversation which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing. Let's listen and repeat. Great! Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait. It is mine. It's a disaster. Oh, no. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. If you have a partner with whom you can practice with, that will be great. If it's just you, I would still encourage you to practice on your own. All right, now this is what I would like for you to do. I would like for you to work in pairs and we're going to practice the pronunciation of the vocabulary. Everybody please repeat after me. Great. 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 Our clothes are dry. Our, Our clothes, clothes are dry. dry. Right. Where is my new blouse? Where, Where is my new blouse? What color is it? What, what color, color is it? It's white. It's, it's white. 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 Here, here's a light blue blouse. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. No, no, it is it's not, not mine. mine. Wait, it no, is wait. mine. Wait, 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 it is mine. 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 It's, it's a disaster. It's a, it's a disaster. disaster. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Here's, here's, here's the problem. problem. It's these new blue jeans. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Oh, oh, oh they're, they're mine. mine. Sorry. 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 All right. Uh, at this moment, does anybody have any questions? Yeah, teacher. Yeah, teacher. Yeah, teacher. Uh, yes. Raise your hand, please. Raise your hand, please. Any questions? Raise your hand, please. Raise your hand, please, if you have any questions. Please raise your hand if you have any questions. No. 
No questions? Judith Panameño, what is your question? Therefore, please repeat um, in part. Julie, oh no, all, all, all clothes are light blue. That's right. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. All our clothes are All light blue. All our clothes are light blue. Oh no. All oh, our no. clothes are light blue. Roxana Cornejo, what is your question? Oh no. Teacher, whose jeans are they? Es como de quién son estos jeans? That is correct. Whose es un possessivo? Que quiere decir de quién? Por ejemplo, yo te pregunto, ¿de quién es este teléfono? Whose cell phone is this? ¿De quién es esta taza? Whose cup is this? ¿De quién es este mouse? Whose mouse is this? All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of minutes. And I would like for you guys to um, practice the conversation. Practice the conversation in pairs. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Ready. Let's go. Ready. Let's make it happen. Action. Hi, quedó sola. Hey. All right, ahorita le vamos a poner a Sochi con usted. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ahí está Sochi. Hello. Hello, Sochi. Practice conversation. Okay. Um, um, but it's you. Great. Hey, Julie. Our clothes are dry. What is my new blouse? What color is it? Jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. Yeah. I cambiamo. Okay. Okay. Great. All clothes are dry. What is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's, it's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. Creo que tenemos a una persona más. Oh, Hi, Miguel. Hi, Miguel. Right, all right, Miguel, are you there? Are you present, Miguel? Hello, hello. Hola, hola. Hola. Oh, hola, Miguel. Hey, hey. ¿Practicas primero con Pamela y después conmigo? Eh, yes. Okay. Voy a hacer Pat y usted y Julie. No, Julie. Ok. Bueno. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? 
What color is is it? It's white. Here I like blue blouse. It's it is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, no, well. they are my... Oh, they are my sorry. Okay. Ok, Miguel. Hoy cambiamos conmigo, Miguel. Hoy usted será Pat y yo seré Julie. Bye. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? Uh, no, is now my why is is my ex disaster disaster. Oh no! All our clothes are light blue. Here the problem is this: news blue jeans was jeans are they? All right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Now, what you're going to do, lo que vamos a hacer ahora, es escribir una conversación similar a esta aquí en el discussion forum. Usted puede cambiar los nombres, puede cambiar las prendas de, de ropa, puede cambiar los colores, puede cambiar la situación. Y lo van a escribir aquí en el discussion forum. You have 10 minutes. We're going to take 10 minutes and we are going to go ahead and write it here and in the discussion forum in this section. In a similar situation. Como que si tiene algún problema en la lavandería, puede ser ropa, puede ser cambio, puede ser la, la máquina le robó las monedas, puede ser la máquina se trabó. Puede ser perdió la prenda, puede ser se le acabó el rinzo, puede ser whatever you want, you invent. You will have 10 minutes. I'm going to put you in pairs so that you can help each other. Los voy a poner en pareja para que se ayuden uno con el otro. Let's go. Hola. ¿Ya comenzó la oración? Eh, no, todavía no he comenzado. Bye. Bye. Lo vamos copiando similar y solo le vamos cambiando cositas. Sí, creo que sí, porque él le dijo que podríamos decir que perdió algo o problemas con la máquina, pero no estoy muy segura cómo se dice eso. Problemas con la lavadora. Vamos a ver si me sale. Porque el inicio quedaría igual. ¿Sí? Uh, lo que pasa es que el lavador es washing machine. Si le ponemos detergente. 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 Ajá. 
Entonces, si hablamos de teléfono, de inteligente. Our clothes are dirty. Uh, que toda la, toda la ropa se arruinó. Dirty is sucio. Ah. Our clothes are dirty. Toda nuestra ropa es sucia. Entonces sería great. Eh, siempre dejaríamos la primera parte, ¿verdad? Great or clothes are dry. Mm, great. Eh, no, porque si, lo, si ponemos que la ropa está sucia, no podemos decir que la, toda la ropa está limpia. Uh -huh. No, eso de wait estaba bien. Wait. Wait, our clothes are there. Wait. Pero es que este great es como bueno. Ajá, por eso es wait, como espera, Ajá. momento, wait. En vez de great. Wait, our clouds are dirty. Viera que estoy teniendo varios problemas con esta cosa. Se me trajo. Sí. Bueno, entonces sería wait. Where where is my detergent? Creo que se escribe a detergent. My clothes. Sí, detergent. Detergent. Where is my detergent? Si ahí si se entraría una segunda persona, por ejemplo, como ¿dónde lo dejaste? Porque pues, wait, our clothes are dirty, nuestra ropa está sucia. Where is my detergent? ¿Dónde está el detergente? ¿Dónde lo dejaste? O no sé cómo se podría decir. ¿Dónde lo dejaste? Uh -huh. ah. <laughs> On the party? Um, in the party, do you? No sé si cuál será correcto. Creo que. O oh, at the party. Teacher, the ahí party está usted. <ríe> at the party, creo que. Por ahí lo vi que entró. Preguntémosle. ¿Es on, in o at? 
Are you going to wear this blouse? Blouse? Oh, uh, in the party. Yo digo que es in the party. Es a, yo creo que es at the party. At, bueno, pongámosle at the party. At the party. Ajá. Entonces tendría que responder yo y ya. No. No. Hay. Uh, si voy a decir voy a usar, sería igual. I, I, going I to, am going no, to. No, I am. I am going to wear. Um, a jeans. No, uh, estamos hablando de la blusa, ¿verdad? Sí. Address sería entonces. Address. At. Address. Address. A blue dress, pongámosle. Un vestido azul. A blue ¿Sabe, dress. ¿sabe, podríamos poner a dress y luego preguntarle yo what color is the ah, dress. Ok. Entonces, a dress. Uh -huh. Está bien. Uh, I am going to wear a dress. Y Pamela me preguntará. What color is your dress? What color is your dress? Ok. Entonces yo respondo. A mí también me gusta. Me gusta. Uh, gracias, a mí también me gusta, me gusta tu cartera, le pudiéramos poner. Tu cartera. Thank you. Thanks to me. Thanks to me. Mm, I like, ¿no? como dice, I like your pink wallet. Ajá, es pink wallet. All right, all right. Did everybody finish the activity? ¿Ya terminamos todos? Yes. All right. Yes. Si no ha terminado, le va a quedar de tarea. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at the next activity. Now, for the next activity, we're going to go ahead and be moving out and looking at section number 4.4, lesson objectives. In this class, you will learn how to use Possessives, in order to describe belonging of things. Vamos a ver posesiones. Por ejemplo, yo te digo, my water bottle, my mouse. En esta clase aprenderán cos, cómo usar los posesivos para describir la pertenencia de las cosas. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use possessives in order to describe belonging of things. If you recall the conversation, it's a disaster, which you learned on our previous lesson. You heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue, and I'll point out the possessives in action. For example, if you notice the conversation, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? 
years. Is it years? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possesses that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car. The object is car. And um, let me point out what I mean by object. Socks. Umbrella. And car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. The object I'm going to grade out and as you can see the object is at the beginning not at the end as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart, under names, Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex t-shirt. 
the apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe S. Now it's your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. For example, my car is black. The black car is mine. My uh, wife's dress is blue. The blue dress is hers. My co-worker's computer is white. His computer is white. All right, now for this section, what you're going to do is you're going to write here at the bottom in the discussion forum, I want you to give me 10 examples where it says titulo, I want you to write your name. And then at the bottom, you're gonna give me five examples with the possessive pronoun and five examples with the possessive adjective. For example, number one, The black cell phone is mine. Number two, my cell phone is black. So you're going to write 10 examples one with the possessive pronoun at the end, and one with the possessive adjective at the beginning. That's going to be your homework, and we see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.